Hey, hey you, I'm Messy Sage here to impart my wisdom, here to tell you about how delicious the giant tortoise is. Giant tortoises from the Galapagos Islands can live for over a century. I also just found out that their mating sounds were used in Jurassic Park for the dinosaurs. <coughs> Yep, now you are burdened with unsolicited knowledge. These tauruses are not only known for their longevity and sex sounds, but also for their irresistible flavor, making them a popular choice for sailors and explorers. Their meat was often described as superior to chicken, beef, and pork, with their fat likened to the purest butter by sailors during the 17th century. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the Galapagos Islands served as a significant stopover for ships in the Eastern Pacific, kind of like a pirate's version of McDonald's. Giant tortoises were especially convenient because they could be kept alive without food or water for months, and sometimes even up to a year, just cramped in the corners of their ships, like the dead spider in your car. Giant tortoises were also useful because they could provide water. Its specialized bladder could store up to 5 gallons of fresh water. So were they harvesting the water from the tortoises' butchered bodies? or just outright drinking pee? Besides giant tortoises being easy to store in ships, capturing the tortoises was way easier than hunting other animals. This extensive hunting led to drastic declines in their population. Invasive species such as rats, pigs, and goats introduced to the islands by humans also preyed on tortoise eggs, hatchlings, and their food sources. Also, humans destroy habitats, making it harder for tortoises overall. Maybe the pandemic should have taken more people. Some species have already faced extinction, and some species are also down to its last tortoises. Well, on a lighter note, there's this real video of a tortoise beating a hare in a race just like in the story. Charles Darwin observed giant tortoises during his visit to the Galapagos in 1835. He spent two days with local hunters and ate only tortoise meat with them. Darwin's observation of these creatures influenced his groundbreaking theory of evolution. The various species of giant tortoises in the Galapagos are now named after Darwin. That's like naming serial killer victims as Jeffrey Dahmer. My name is Jeff. Modern conservation efforts seek to protect and restore these creatures. Conservation efforts have been kind of successful in preserving many species of giant tortoises, but some are still critically endangered. Lonesome George, the last Pinta Island tortoise, passed away in 2012. Screw saving these useless pandas! Save the turtles! In 2021, the rediscovery of the Fernandina giant tortoise, its scientific name is Chelonoides nig. Oh, okay. Never mind. The rediscovery of this species shows that even critically endangered species can rebound. As much as it is tempting to know what a giant tortoise tastes like, I think it's more important that we should focus on saving their population and then we eat them. But I don't know. What do I know? Statistically, I do wonder though if human meat has been consumed more than animals we are legally not allowed to eat.